Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make an atmospheric gas analyzer using MQCD sensors like MQ2, MQ4, MQ5 and finally MQ135. Along with that, we are measuring the temperature and humidity by using DHT22 sensor from the surroundings in real time. The data will be updated in the screen. For that, I use 16 x 2 LCD display with I2C interface to show the real-time data feed from the sensors. The gas and laser can display values in ppm. I have converted the analog readings of the MQ sensors to ppm values. The device can show amount of smoke, LNG, CNG, AQI, aka air quality index, temperature, humidity precisely. In the future updates, I will show you how to save the data from the gas analyzer using SD card as a data logger. You need to make sure to use a 5V 1 or 2 amp power supply to make this project. The sensors will need 5 to 6 minutes for calibration time. At that time, we will get dummy values. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. First, I collect all the sensors, the MQCD sensors, the DH11 temperature and humidity sensor, the Arduino Nano and the I2C module. As I have mentioned, use a 5V 1 ampere or 2 ampere power supply for the project. After that, I place all the sensors in the breadboard for prototyping. The MQ2 sensor shows the amount of LPG in the atmosphere. The MQ4 sensor shows the value of CNG gas in the atmosphere. The MQ5 sensor shows the value of H2, CH4, CO from the atmosphere. The MQ135 sensor shows the value of air quality in the atmosphere as well. After that, we have the DH11 sensor which shows the temperature and humidity from the atmosphere. After that, I connect jumper wires to the breadboard. But don't worry, you can get the schematics from the video description. And also a quick note, all the sensors share a common ground and VCC as well. So it's pretty easy to wire them. Since the sensor has analog and digital output, we need analog input for PPM conversion, so I am using the analog pin. Then I hook wires to the analog input of different sensors. The analog sensors will be connected directly to the Arduino analog pins. Then I connect the I2C module to the LCD display. Then connect jumper cables to the DHT sensor and connect everything to the Arduino. As I have said, you can get the schematics of all the components and wiring from the link in the video description. And hence, we have completed the wiring part of the project. Let's move on to the Arduino code. This is the Arduino code for the project. Here you can see I have included all the libraries for the project. The liquid crystal library, the DHT sensor library, and after that, I initialize which pins has been connected and define the type of the DHT sensor. After that, I initialize the DHT sensor and the I2C LCD display as well. Then we move on to initializing the numbers of the sensors and where we are connecting the sensors to the Arduino. Here I use the analog pins. After that, we float the values for the sensor. Then we move on to the setup section. Inside the setup section, we would have the pin mode of different sensors. Then we begin the LCD display. After we begin the LCD display, we will print some characters on the LCD display in a delay of 3000 or 3 second. After that, we clear the display. Then we print another section with cursor set as 03 and at a delay of 3 seconds and we input all the sensors. Then we begin the serial beginners 9600 baud rate. After that we begin the DHT sensor. 
then we came across the world loop section inside the world loop section we have different characters for dht sensors and also we are serial printing all the values which we are required as you can see i have mentioned h for humidity t for temperature and f for heat index after that it would return the values from the sensor if we have some fail it would say that fail to read from mqt and dht sensor then we convert the analog values to ppm over here after that we serial print all the values with degree celsius and ppm as well this is all about the loop section and moving further going down as you can see i am printing all the values in lcd2 the cng value lpg value everything would be in ppm and we have a small conversion over here which is used to convert analog values to ppm and displaying it to the sensor that's all for the code let's upload the code to the arduino this is how you can make your very own diy atmospheric gas and laser sensor using arduino mqcd sensors i2c lcd display if you need you can switch the i2c lcd display with i2c oled display but you need to change the i2c address in the arduino code if you need you can also convert this project to pcb for more reliable and good look the possibilities are endless for the project it's up to your innovation in the future i will make a data logger from this project it would be a version 2 i hope you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe